Huawei has been making some really good phones of late. They have the budget category covered with the Honor Holly and then they have the budget premium category covered with the Honor 6. Now the Honor 6 Plus will come on the 24th which will have the premium mid-range um, you know, kind of a category and along with it will release the Honor 4X that we have here. This one will cover the price category between the Honor Holly and Honor 6. Honor 6 now uh, cost about 18,000 on a holiday is about seven to eight thousand this guy should be priced about 12 13 k so it's only available in china right now uh, and the china currency in which it's selling converts to about 170 euros which in turn converts to about 184 us dollars which again in turn converts to as i told you about 12,000 uh, indian rupees so we're gonna do a uh, in-depth review of this device to see whether this deserves your time and money so let's get started the honor 4x comes in the typical turquoise color uh, huawei box very compact hard cardboard box once you open the box on top you'll find a 5.5 inch phablet and once you go farther in um, you'll find two packets actually in one packet you'll find the wall and uh, the one ampere wall charger and uh, the usb cable no earphones mind you and then um, the other packet you will find the manuals now the earphones are actually market specific so in your particular market you might get the earphones as well or you might not get depending on where you're buying the phone from so that's the honor 4x you see yeah, so it's kind of a successor to the Honor 4, 5.5 inch HD screen. Uh, it's mostly plastic, the back can be opened and it's a pretty heavy device, mind you, 168 grams. Anything over 140 grams feels heavy in hand. Also, uh, it's not the thinnest device in the market, just under 8mm. Uh, let's have a close look at the material and the build quality and the ports and other stuff. Yeah? As I told you, the 4X is all plastic and then glass in the front. You have an IPS LCD screen. Um, the back cover actually covers both the sides and the back. So basically the whole inner housing, it has this nice texture and has a matte finish. Very nice. It's not going to attract fingerprints at all. The side also has, although it's plastic and the same color, the back flare, of course, uh, in this case, white but it also has a very nice matte feeling uh, and it feels great in hand but the same cannot be said uh, for the IPS LCD skin which is very very glossy and will attract a lot of fingerprints so you have a 5.5 inch screen, HD resolutions and IPS LCD screen about 267 ppi of color density which is not much but there's a budget fabric mind you you have uh, your 5MP front camera and then uh, your earpiece and notification LED lights and sensors. You have the typical Huawei or Honor software keys below the display. Nothing much on the left side. And then you have the speaker, micro USB 2.0 port and uh, the mouthpiece at the bottom. Uh, power button and volume locker on the side, all plastic and then 3.5mm jack and a secondary noise cancelling mic on top. Behind you have the 13 MP autofocus camera accompanied by an LED flash and that whole area is clearly marketed with that again a metallic border on the camera and the LED uh, flash area with nice concentric circle texture there nice the honor branding and you won't see Huawei written anywhere because Huawei is kind of trying to rebrand and place the honor a brand as an independent entity you know just like uh, let's say uh, in case of Fiat and Ferrari or Toyota and Lexus you can open the back flap which is very very hard plastic and inside you would find a 3000 mAh battery which cannot be removed and on the sides of the battery you would find space for both the micro sim card slots and then the micro SD card slot um, the mi micro sim card slot they one of them supports LTE 4G so uh, spec wise this guy is powered by a uh, snapdragon 410 chipset which has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core cpu you have 2 gb of ram the 3000 mh battery 13 mp back camera 5 mp front camera the 13 mp can record in full hd at 30 fps the front camera 720p and 
Yeah, so it supports micro SD card that can go up to 32 GB in addition to the already present 8 GB of internal storage. The Honor 4X is powered by Android 4.4.2 KitKat. So you do not have exactly the latest Android version, which is Lollipop uh, and 5.1 is around the corner right now. But you have the latest Emotion UI, that is Emotion UI 3.0, which comes on the top of 4.4.2. So the Emotion UI brings in some new features uh, like this, you know, bring up a menu on top of the unlock screen, which gives you some quick music, um, you know, controls and some of the other things uh, in the settings. and. You also have some quick tools that you might need immediately like flashlight or camera or calculators, recorders and stuff. So that's a nice nifty little tool. Your notifications bars and uh, other things come on top of, uh, it can come down on top of the unlock screen as well. Once you unlock the device, you would find very typical Emotion UI setup without any dedicated app drawer. You have uh, most of the Google's native Android apps plus you also will have many of Huawei's um, you know, in-house tools and uh, system apps, etc. You also might have some popular third-party tools. In this case, we have the Kingsoft Office and uh, you, know, you might have depending on the markets. You also have lots and lots of themes to, um, you know, to apply on the Emotion UI. The notification bar has this nice timeline kind of an arrangement which looks very cool and chic. You also have the shortcut keys, yeah, the app drawer there, and well, it's it's fairly smooth. But mind you, if you have multitask heavily or uh, you know you're playing a game you suddenly want to come to the home uh, then this guy is going to lag a bit because the snapdragon 410 chipset is not exactly a very um, I mean, you know high powered cpu and uh, you get 8 gb out of 8 gb you get about 5 gb of storage space and yeah so let's take a look at some of the apps now for example, the camera to start with. So you have uh, a very typical Emotion UI 3.0 uh, camera UI, which is very clean and good. You have three shooting modes, photo, video, and beauty. So no um, aperture control like uh, the Honor 6 Plus, which is of course the more uh, premium one. You have flash settings and uh, toggle between front and back camera, and then your uh, you know menu where you can um, customize various things and it's not exactly lag free or zero lag but it's quite decent now we checked out the photo and video uh, qualities the photo quality the details are quite nice under enough light it tends to oversaturate a few color palettes like um, the magenta the red the, uh, part and also the green part just a bit but apart from that um, Others are fairly towards the natural side, the saturation and hue. The sharpness is there, uh, even on the videos, there are no, um, no fuzziness even on the side. So that's a good thing. The metering is also good. Um, under low light, however, the details drops drastically. But still, I guess it actually does a good job of checking that to uh, a good level. Let's check out some music. Yeah. So you see the loudness is there but not exactly um, I mean, you know it's not exactly very in loud um, the bass is there just about there and it's in the proper amount and the treble is quite good I like the sound output here although it's not very loud And it does not crackle even at the highest volume which is another good thing yeah 
We did some benchmark testing on the 4X and it continuously scored below average on N22, uh, Velamo, 3D Mark and Basemark scores. We also tried to play some game. We basically played three very demanding games, Asphalt 8, Modern Combat 5 and Dungeon Hunter 5. Um, and it could play all of these games properly, uh, but at times it kind of lags a few frames but that no way did uh, made us uncomfortable or made the games unplayable so they're not even gonna buy the honor 4x that depends on whether you are a very loyal stock android customer or stock android uh, lover because if you're there then you might want to go for the moto g second generation which costs which should cost just about uh, the price of the Honor 4X. You also have the very old Matri if you could grab from somewhere because that was one of the great devices at that price point. You also have the Zenfone 5 and the Zenfone 2 is coming which I don't know uh, how much will uh, that exactly be priced but if that's price about the same as the first Zenfone, there's a Zenfone 5 then it could also give a stiff competition to the Honor 4X. Um, Having said that, if I want to buy the Honor 4X, I mainly buy it for two reasons. Number one, the big screen with the uh, HD resolution and the design and um, you know overall a build quality. Despite of being a heavy device, it actually feels quite comfortably um, and it feels really, really good in hand. And number two, the Emotion UI, which can be customized to a great level. You have lots of themes and despite of uh, you know being run, uh, a, a pretty entry level new chipset actually it's quite smooth and seamless for most part if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to the honor 4x and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe and share our videos to share our love ciao